Well, the new Houston Methodist campus in Cyprus opens on Monday, March 17th and merges technology and medicine in a way that has never been seen before. Health reporter Haley Hernandez is joining us now to explain the AI hospital. Haley, isn't that so interesting? Yes. So this is really the first completely high tech hospital featuring ambient listening technology and artificial intelligence. And I was one of the first ones to get a look inside. Why don't you all come on in? The brand new Houston Methodist Hospital in Cyprus is AI powered. Here you have self check in, remote monitoring of patients, service robots, and smart rooms. There are no curtains in this place. There's our click share glass. You've got these big spacious hallways all designed with the idea of robots and AI technology coming in the future. You'll also notice in this room there are no telephones because we have doubled down on voice to drive everything. Hey Alexa, turn off the music. The rooms are really designed for patients to have a more interactive experience and you can ask the room to deliver complicated things like a summary of your chart for a family member who comes to visit or something as simple as, hey Alexa, turn off all lights. Okay. If you need water, Hey, my IV is beeping. I might want to use a device versus using my voice. So you can do either or. The rooms are also equipped with buttons to immediately get doctors on a televisit, eliminating the wait time to meet with a specialist just because one isn't available at the hospital at that moment. Voila, our virtual command center, which, which lives in our central hub downtown, allows us to kind of port right into the room to see patients, to see it and move and directly zoom into where you need to be, how you need to be, et cetera. This has been years in the making. People from Houston Methodist have been telling me about this hospital before before I could comprehend what AI meant. The technology enables them to better care for patients and helps us improve in overall quality, safety, and the experience that they're having when they come to Houston Methodist. I think that's what people want to hear because they're afraid of AI taking away jobs. Did you guys right. have to address that a lot? Uh, you know, he, here and there people have questions, right? But the key is creating more efficiencies and taking the computer out from between you and I. So now I can walk into the room, say I'm a clinician, and just have a natural conversation. And then we have AI that'll pick up on the speakers and help document. So a lot of times clinicians are spending a lot of time documenting after visits. Mm -hmm. This creates efficiency, so documentation is happening as I'm just having a natural conversation with you. The hospital says patient information will be confined within the room and is therefore kept safe and private. Now again, that hospital opens on Monday. They're opening with 100 beds and they have the ability to one day expand Sophia to 500. That is incredible. Yeah, and that area, you know, the Cypress area is growing so much that they say that they will be able to, to fill that hospital. And I'm sure other hospitals will look at what they're doing here in the yeah. Houston area. Houston Methodist has peppered some of this AI technology across their campuses. This is the first hospital that is entirely AI though. Wow, I cannot wait to see yeah. how this can continues and how this goes on. I mean, like I said, they, they first told me about this hospital like 10 years ago and I was like, I don't understand. You know, I mean, right. like, AI is so much more a part of our conversation now that it makes sense and it just, I can't believe it's here. It enhances, you know, what the doctors are doing yeah. and, and the care that the patients are getting, which is incredible. Incredible, yeah. All right, Haley, thank you for Thanks. that.